This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Squarespace. Coming up, another downloadable game to take a look at. We check out Rock of Ages. About the downloadable arcade game Rock of Ages. It's from Ace Team. These are the guys that did Xenoclash. Do any of you guys play Xenoclash? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Neither did I. It got a lot of really great buzz, but this is the second game from that team. And uh, this game is a really unique interesting take on a few different genres. One of them is sort of tower defense, yeah. but basically you're controlling, well, let me set the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, in ancient Greece, you play Sisyphus, and, well, you don't play Sisyphus, but Sisyphus is trying to push his rock up the mountain, as you know, Sisyphus always, perpetually, throughout time, always trying to push that rock up the mountain, and it's always rolling back down. Well, he gets pissed off, and he's like, you know what, screw it, I'm not doing this anymore, this rock is gonna bash some heads. Yep. So you and your rock go through different ages of time through the progression of this game. You start in ancient Greece, you move on up through different ages, the Renaissance, the freaking Rococo period, Really, really cool, uh, fun uh, cutscenes in between with this really non-verbal, uh, humorous take on history and, and famous, I mean, there's, there's riffs on uh, Leonidas, there's a joke about Castlevania, there's mm -hmm. lots of pop culture references. Very Castle, um, very, very uh, Monty Python. Yes, -esque. absolutely. Definitely. How do you play? Well, you take your rock and you gotta roll it down a hill he did all this. Yeah. and smash it into your opponent's door. You sm smash it enough times, you break through the door and you win the level. But at the same time, your opponent is rolling his big stone at your wall. So, and you're playing on the same board at the same time. And you can earn money by breaking things with your ball as you progress toward that wall or toward that gate. Uh, and then you use that money to spend on plopping things, populating things throughout the world that can prevent your opponent from getting to where they need to go. So uh, you can add like catapults that will shoot them and try to knock them off the board. You can add uh, towers that will stand in their way that they have to smash through. And it's all about reducing their momentum so that when they hit your wall, they do less damage to it or knocking them off the uh, off the board. So it's very much a super monkey ball, sort of meets tower defense, mm. uh, all kinds of craziness. Alex. Yes, sir. Tell me what you thought of Rock of Ages. Um, I, I, you know, it's funny. I think that, you know, they tried to be a lot of different, it was very genre bending, Indeed. genre blending. Yep. Um, and I, I kind of feel like I wish that they had sort of done either a super monkey ball game or a tower defense game. I really love the milieu, I love the art style, love the uh, the writing, which is sort of surprising because I, I mean it was more sort of these little vignettes, these like non-verbal vignettes. That stuff was really amazing, mm -hmm. but then the gameplay I didn't really, I, I couldn't really kind of get into because I was sort of spending time going, should I focus on you know rolling my ball and getting the best thing, but then also I'm sort of watching the other screen and kind of worried how do I split my time? It was very, it was sort of very un, unbalanced in my opinion. Like I didn't, I didn't really know how much time I should be spent. Like I set up all my stuff and then it was like, I can't even, I, I'm so focused on Super Monkey Ball, I can't even tell what my, how my stuff did. Right. I, you know, I mean, there's sort of a little screen at the bottom, but it, because it's Super Monkey Ball, you can't just like look down at the bottom and kind of hope that you stay on the path. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You're so what I ended up, that. yeah. So yeah. what I ended up doing was, which I think is sort of the way that you can do it, I would assume, was I would sort of set my stuff up and then I was go, oh okay, and then I would roll my guy, and then I would crash into the wall, and then I'd look down and see how much damage the person did. But the problem was I couldn't tell where what placements were effective, yeah. where I needed to add things, where did he go by and I didn't even notice because it, I couldn't focus on that. I understand what you're saying because it really is a race and yeah. you have this period after you smash your ball where, you, where your little workers are rebuilding your ball yeah. and then you can set all your stuff in motion but if 
your ball comes up at the same time your opponent's ball comes up. You're both rolling at the same time. So Which like you said, you don't get a chance to see yeah. Yeah. what's going what, on. What did I do well? What yeah. did I not do well? I mean, theoretically, I would go back and I would look at like what, what towers were smashed and then go, well, I should put more towers there because that's clearly where the guy went. But it almost feels like if they could take a minute and while your guy's being the ball, you could actually fast forward or it showed you a fast forward of what the mm. guy did. Then you could go, oh, okay, I need to be over here. And I also, I had a hard time. It, it was hard to kind of build the things fast mm. because it was like constantly jump two squares when I was like, I want to do a row of castles. Yeah. And it was like, bah, 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 bah. and I was like, dude, this is timed. If it's yeah. timed, it has to be very precise. Yeah, I wish that the uh, directional pad had, had been not... As a, sensitive. Well, it, the directional pad leaps you to uh, hot points. Oh, yeah, points. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I was, I was always wanting to go, oh, I just one, would tap one, one, it. One, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan, what did you think of Rock of Ages? I thought Rock of Ages was pretty fun. Um, I, I, uh, I actually like the combination of the two genres. I love that it's, it's strategy and action in one go. I love that it's tower defense, so I get to think intellectually about placements and things like that. But then I also have... Um, I, I'm not just waiting to see Your guys fight. I'm yeah. actually doing the fighting myself, you know, it, it, in a in a sense with controlling the ball as it rolls. Um, I love the sense of humor of the game. Uh, the my I but I had a lot of the issues that you guys had. I agree that I, I don't think it should have been a race. I think it should have been turn based so that I yeah, could I focus yeah. on yes. tower defense strategy mechanics, see how that goes, and then now my turn to earn the points back. And it would, it would put so much more. Um, suspense in. I need to crash I need to into this house, to get the, but I also to get the money. Sure I get the momentum. Right, exactly, yeah. and and then also I get to see where, how to build up my defenses and be strategic. And so that would have been a joy yeah. if it was more turn based. Yeah. And also the, the the controls were so loosey goosey yeah. that it, from placing your tiles on the field to just selecting things, I constantly it was like it was buggy. It would like spin around in a circle when I just wanted to tap one over to select my cow instead of the castle or whatever yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, brutal, brutal, just to select. And I also had a problem with the camera controls and the monkey ball moments. When you're rolling down, when you're rolling your boulder down the hill, uh, every time you hit something, your camera would go, whoop, you know, warp around. Yeah. And then it was like, I don't even know where I am. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Whereas if you, the camera, if your ball got interrupted and I had to strategically or act dexterously, um, dexterously, dexterously, yeah. dexterously, you know, manipulate, but the camera going all wonky. Uh, wasn't wasn't uh, out a challenge? Cost, yeah. A challenge. It was just annoying. So, um, I, I really, honestly, I would have had. It's a. I it never got past a casual experience for me. Yeah. Um, and though it isn't a downloadable title on Xbox, I, I still want a little bit more out of it. Yeah. And if it was on my iPad, I would be hooked, and I would mm. not be able to stop playing. In fact. Maybe it could have been more precise. Like, to, rotate. Or I would be tapping, but you could rotate. I just like tapping sides. But you like tapping sides. But yeah, uh, but he loves tapping, tapping sides. sides. But everyone, but you know, it's each their own. Yeah, I so. I liked it all t for the most part. Uh, but I ha I agree with you guys, and and I never even thought about the turn based thing. Yeah. It makes a whole lot of sense, oh, yeah. especially because there's a. Um, there's a tool that lets you actually target specific areas and drop missiles or whatever onto that. So you can literally be attacking your opponent as he's going. Uh, and that's really fun, but if my ball is up, yeah. available for me, there, it makes no sense for me to spend time yeah. doing that. I just need, it's a race. Um, did either of you guys play multiplayer? No. no. I did, and that's really where it shines, mm. I think, because split screen local or online, co or online uh, multiplayer, and Instead of playing against the, the computer opponent, having another person. That's interesting, yeah. It's really fun. And there's another multiplayer mode called um, Rock Ski Ball or something like that, where you're going through and um, it ab abandons all of the tower defense stuff, and you just have to break these targets to score a point. And then at the end, it has an actual ski ball thing, and you launch your thing up and mm -hmm. try to land on a hole. I wish I had done yeah. that. That gives you a multipl multiplier. That would have been good. Uh, and it, 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 it's really fun. It has a lot of character, a lot of charm, a lot of fun. It'll actually kind of teach you almost a little bit of history. Yeah, I know. Uh, which is cool. A tiny bit. <laughs> it's mostly snarky and fun. Yeah. But um, I love the look of it. The levels get very, very hard mm. as, as you go. Uh, water is in certain, there's like Florence has water in it and, and which hurts your ball just being in the water and like the majority of the thing is water. Yeah. And all of these games, Monkey Ball, Marble Madness from when I was a kid, these type of games, Marble Madness. frustration 
is part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. It is like, it's kind of the thing, like not losing your momentum, uh, bumping into things, falling off, all of those things are sort of part of the game, but I don't find that to be a pleasant experience. Yeah. I get right. really tense, and especially when I'm like, trying to go upstairs and I'm losing momentum and I jump and I didn't make it to the stairs and I'm just like, oh, just go, 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 go. And uh, yeah. yeah, this game has that in spades and so it's it's tough for me to, but in multiplayer, pretty darn fun and a really interesting game to check out. You should download the demo, I think, and give it a oh, look. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Rock yeah. of, of ages. ages. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for this day in rat history, but first we want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. We've talked about it for years, actually, now that That's I think true. about it. Um, Squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog, portfolio, or website. It's fully hosted, takes care of all the tricky details of getting your site online. There's nothing to download, nothing to install, nothing to set up. Click and go. Uh, you choose from a wide variety of professionally designed templates right out of the box. Then you go on and customize your brains out. All sorts of cool point and click controls everywhere. Um, Squarespace comes with a variety of page types. You can do blogs, galleries, contact forms. Uh, you can snap everything together. Easy to do. Oh, We've snapping. talked about how easy it is to snap all this stuff. Also, Squarespace comes with these amazing social integration widgets. Uh, you know, like Twitter and Flickr and all sorts of little gadgets you can throw in there. Sometimes easy <laughs> isn't easy enough. This is as easy as easy enough gets. But what if I still have problems? Well, the best part is there's a 24-7 support. Now here's the difference. It's not support customer care. It's not support. How do, I wanted to word that rec correctly. <laughs> yeah, I well, I was thinking it's not. Having... It's not just customer. I mean, theoretically, it's customer support, but it's also customer. Hey, how do I do this? Yeah. And answer like that. Help. So it's not just my 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 stuff broke. I need to call somebody. Right. It's I wonder if I could do this. And yeah. the answer is, yeah, just pick up the phone and call or get on the chat or whatever. 24-7 support, amazing. Check it out, squarespace.com. You get a two-week free trial, so there's no reason not to check it out. But also, you get 10% off. All you have to do when you check out is use the coupon code TRS9. Bam. Bam. Love it. All right, people, we'll see you. Don't miss tomorrow for our review of the movie Apollo 18. Today is September 6th, and on this day in rad history, back in good old 1927, wow. the first fully electronic television system is achieved by Philo Taylor Farnsworth. <laughs> Farnsworth! Oh. <laughs> I like how Farnsworth. he achieved it. I know. Yeah, I achieved it. He actually, as soon as he did it, a little thing popped over his head. It said, achievement unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy, 1927, the first. What does an electronic television system mean? It's, it, uh, it's not, electronic. Non -tube television? I think it's TV as, as we knew it before. Uh, I mean, not 20, vacuum tube, 1927. I guess that is electronic. electronic. Yeah, it was. There's, there was more to this fact. There was something about. What is it? Tell me more. Like, I'm no, excited. We're using an image dissector. It was the first like. What? Yeah. Tell me. Is that I don't how? Know. I don't remember. Is that how that. people in uh, biology Wikipedia. class back Wikipedia. then used to be able to open up frogs with their image dissector? Yeah. So what we do here anyway. on this day in rad, we give you a tiny sliver of misinformation for which you can be inspired to look yeah. up the correct exactly. information. Exactly. That's how, that's how learning. Exactly. Uh, the less you know. <laughs> <laughs> at at delicious demon seven sent that into us.